My name is Tiffany, born and raised in LA. Been here my whole life, 28 years. I'm a hairstylist, so I've been messing around with my hair since like sixth grade. I'd get like just the cheap stuff, and in high school, my friends would come over to like do homework supposedly, and I'd color their hair, and it's just always been kind of an outlet. Oh, hell yeah, they'll pick out pictures in magazines of like models, and it's like, Girl, if I could look like that, I would too, but this hair is not going to do it for you because they look at like how pretty the person is, not the hair. They'll come in and they hate their hair and women are so critical of themselves and then they leave and they're like, oh, I love it. It's exactly what I was thinking because a lot of times we're like mind readers. They're like, oh, I don't know what I want. I kind of want it like this and I'll just do whatever I think and then they're stoked on it. It's a dope feeling, definitely. Well, graffiti is a love of mine, a passion of mine, and so is hairstyling. So to me, it's like you use colors in both. You use colors that complement each other. It's just another artistic outlet that you have. You got to go out and tag. You got to bomb. You got to do throw ups. You got to hit freeways. You got to, you know, make a name for yourself in your own city. And, you know, you got to do pieces. And you just have to do everything. I'm very addicted to it. I'm addicted to the smell, the sounds, the just the way the lights hit the train tracks, just everything about it. That's a badass ride, though. Yeah, <laughs> with my graph, I'd rather people not really know who I am, like what I look like and everything like that. But with hair, I want people to know because that's like promoting me, that's bringing me more business. But graph, I like to keep it more on the on the DL. I mean, we've been married for eight years and. I mean, people don't make it, especially in LA. They, they don't make it in years even, you know? They, they barely make it too, so. But we both came from good families and, you know, all of our parents are still together and. Getting chased together, hiding under bums' mattresses for like hours at a time. Uh, While the cops are yelling at you, get the fuck out, we're gonna beat yeah. your ass as they're keying my car. Trying to explain it to my dad, because I think I was still in high school at the time, I had to I take think, my car home. I think one of our first trips to the yard, we got chased. Yeah. And we and you were jumping over fences faster than I was. You were over the fence. Yeah, but like, that's when I was young. <laughs> I can't do it now. We just cut holes in fences now. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> that's, what, that's what fence cutters are for. Call it a wrap or what?